How's everybody doing? Spike here in the frugal fixer shop. Just got in a couple of seconds early so we didn't have to listen to that stupid timer thing. Because nobody wants to put up with that, you know? So how's everybody doing? I hope you're all doing well. I guess y'all can tell that I was playing with some more stain this morning. So yeah, I'm wearing it now. So yeah, I'm in it hard. Let me uh, let me move some screens around so I can see everything going on here at one time. Here, move this up to there. There we go. We turn that sound off. It's definitely. There we go. So anyway, uh, I'm doing well, Lisa. I've been working uh, all well. Worked last night and uh, got some more guitar built and you know shaped and sanded and stuff. And uh, then I got a little more testing done on my color. I decided I'd just you know see what I could come up with. So I made another sample over there, and I'm kind of liking it. I've got it on the table. I'll bring it in on another picture here and let you look at it. Uh, matter of fact, I can do that right here. Now go ahead and bring it up. Let's pop it on there. Y'all ready to see that? There we go. So this one right here, the one I can, I don't know if y'all can see that marker on the screen or not, but uh, um, it's uh, it's got a light fade right in here and it goes dark in each direction. So I'm thinking about just kind of planting that light spot right over the top here and then go light and go darker each way. And uh, that's kind of what I'm thinking about doing on that one. So yeah, that's, uh, that's what I was working on there. Uh, other than that, i just been kind of hanging out, guys. So, hey, welcome to the Brotherhood of the Bill. And the whole idea behind this is we do a show and grow. So if you've got a video that you just put up, did you want us to share? Or if you've got one you've had up for a while you want to share, just put the title of it there, and I'll try to find it while this is all going on, and uh, we'll share it with everybody, you know. So uh, anybody, my guys, friends that come on in, I'd love to see you all. And uh, like I say, we're just in to hang out for a little while. I'm going to stop before uh, 7 o'clock and give y'all plenty of time. I go to watch my buddies over at Texas Toast. Uh, I really enjoy watching them. They're into power tools like me. I do a little bit of hand work, but I'm a power tool guy. So uh, I want y'all to tell me what you think about my new little backdrop I rearranged here today. I kind of got things worked up a little bit. I, I got my light and gym, my cup, all the parts for the guitar I'm working on is in this gold pan. Yep, there it are. And uh, I got this piece of artwork. It comes from a friend of mine. That she done. And uh, and then I got all the girls in the cabinet behind me there. I guess you can see all them sitting around. So, yeah, I just thought I'd change the angle a little bit, open things up and whatever, you know, to have a little something different. But, yeah, guys, I uh, hope everybody's had a good week. Uh, short time since I've seen some of you. I were around yesterday when I done my little live to pick out colors. And, yeah, the colors was interesting. I enjoyed that a lot. Uh, let me see. I think I've got another view here. Let me see if this one goes a little bit better, uh, the color I'm working with here. Uh, yeah, there you go. You see the, y'all see the lightness in it there and where it would transfer over onto the guitar. And that's the general idea how I was going to do that one right there. So uh, that view right there and then, uh, and then looking at it from the top, it's just a little bit darker here and here on the two ends than I want it to be. So I think I'm going to go... Uh, a little lighter when I do the real stain. Yeah, I think it's what I'm going to do. So that's my plan. So, yep. So anyway, hope everybody's doing well and uh, is healthy and staying out of trouble. And uh, if you would, Bill, good to see you, buddy. Do me a favor. Put in where you're from so I kind of know where people are from. I'd like to know that. And I like to know people's names. At least I figured that out. Bill, I know who that is. And, uh, you know, I just like to know who I was here so I can keep up with everybody and uh, wish them goodwill. And uh, like Bill, I mean, I seen Bill's uh, Bill's making progress. He's coming along, and I'm happy to see that. Lisa hasn't been building anything yet, but I think she's getting wound up, getting ready to start something. I'm looking forward to it. So, uh, yeah, we all are. I mean, everybody help everybody is what we try to do around here. And so, if you got questions, Lisa, if you need help, if you need something done, I mean, just let us know. I mean, if you need piece made or whatever, let me know. If I can, I'll do it. Okay, Lucifer, good to see you, buddy. Brett, how are you, brother? I hope you're doing well up in Canada. And uh, I guess you've been just getting off of work up that way, probably up there. So glad you joined us. I appreciate you. Uh, Brett, let me go look for your video right quick. I kind of enjoyed that one today. And uh, I think I'll share that with some people. So let me go find it right quick, okay? Y'all know how it is when Spike gets to looking for something like this. He'll do, do something. So. Uh, let me go here. What wrong one? 
Y'all, y'all talk much yourself while I look this up. Because, you know, I don't want to lose anything here. So, uh, Bill's in New York, and um, I'm in South Carolina, where it's starting to get kind of darn warm. Woodshed Customs, appreciate you for coming in, brother. I'm glad to see you. Uh, I've been trying to catch up everybody's stuff and watch as much as I can of it, guys. Uh, I've been watching, trying to keep up with my buddies, especially. If you own my subscription or if you come to my stream, I'm probably watching your stuff pretty darn close. Um, I see old E.R. Webster put a new video out a few few minutes ago. So uh, he's working on some stuff going there. And uh, let me get back over here to where my buddy is, Lucifer. Where'd I go? I lost you, boots. Let me get it up. Man, that thing messes me up every time I try to do that on the spelling. Ah, darn it. Okay. Y'all stick with me a minute. I'll find that one in a second. Um, finish all the shaping in the first two rounds of sanding. Bill, I'm kind of in the same boat, buddy. I've got this built base all shaved. I just got to do all my reveals around the edges and get those done. And then I got to carve the back of the neck. Uh, I've got the pickup cavities done, and I need to move to the uh, back control cavity. I need to do it. I want to make a new a new template for it. So in the past, I've kind of used one that's kind of like oblong this way, but this one was on that base when I tore it apart, and I think I'm just going to draw it out and shape it, reshape it, and use that to make mine. So, And then i got to get new screws because all the screws are kind of rusty and cruddy. And everything else looks pretty good. The tuners and all is polishing up good, but yeah, the screws, I got to replace them all. So. But I mean, we're talking 20 screws maybe. I mean, so yeah, ain't no big deal there. These new glasses are good, but they blue block. They keep me from getting the blue, but I'm sending it back to you guys. It's really hard to harsh. I know. I'm sorry. Um, if I do that, it makes it worse. So yeah. But anyway, have, uh, let me see if I can find... Uh, yeah, I, no, I got it worse today, Bill. I've I done some more, and I didn't put on the gloves again. So, yeah, after I got into it, I just kept going. I mean, you know, we'll, we'll see how it all works out. So, hold on one second. I'll get these over here in a better light where y'all can see them a little better. Now, this one here, is, I worked with this here. Now, this one I put a brown stain in first and then sanded it back. And then after I sanded it back, then I put the oranges and browns and stuff. And I don't know, it just, it darkened it up too much for me. So yeah, but it'll wear off. And you know what? If I use uh, the thinner, the clear, you know, like alcohol thinner or, or thinner, it'll come off. I just had to take time to do it. But when I was doing all my testing on this stick of colors yesterday, y'all see what happened here. We've done all kinds of stuff as we were testing here. But we came in on... Uh, this here, and then I sanded it back, but then I went this morning, and well, I kind of went back, and I worked this one, and I took the steel wool to it, and took off the, the top, and kind of just smoothed that out, and I think I'm going to use it from about like, right in here, this color, to about, about right in there, that color, and not let it and keep this a little lighter than it is here. That's what I think I'm going to do, guys, so yeah, that's my plan, so um the real chip, yeah, yeah, it does look like it, Doug. I'm telling you, Doug, thank you for coming, man. I appreciate you being here. Uh, yeah, it, uh, it's a, it's one of them things that you'll kind of get used to it, but it's not good for you. I mean, I'm probably not, them uh, memes are probably not good for me, so I probably need to avoid those, you know what I mean? So, yeah, well, let's uh, let's not do that again. So, let me see if I can get back over here and grind. That's what I was looking for. There we go. Now we're finding. Oh, darn it. Stupid thing. Found the wrong stuff again. Guys, I'm having a hard time looking here. Can't see the dark screen over. Huh. I got to get my other screen located in a better place. I've got it so far away over there now that uh, I can't really see what I'm working on. Um, let me see. What all else y'all got going? There? Here we go. We're getting there now. Um, I want to know, did y'all see... Uh, did y'all see old uh, Devil and Son putting an iPad in a darn com uh, guitar? I watched a little bit of that yesterday. It, 
it the Doug, you can put it on thinner. I put this on thick when I was testing, but you can put it on a lot thinner than that. So I will thin it down to put the next layer on is what I will do for sure. So that's my plan on that. And uh, I think that'll make it a lot easier to, to deal with, if you know what I mean. Man, this keyboard is driving me crazy today. Okay, guys, sorry. I'm working. After all that, I finally figured it out. Go, so, guys, you guys like to officially announce our first moderator. Lisa, I got it done. I figured it out finally. I had a battle with it, but I figured it out. Never had a need for one, but I had a porn link pop up of the day, and I think we better be careful. So, Lisa, if you would, thank you much. I appreciate you, and yeah, yeah, I, that that may help someday. We don't have it yet, but it's coming. Yeah, so yeah, Daniel's pretty cool, man. I'm enjoying. Stuff. I just couldn't remember his name at the moment. I so many guys that I've gotten to know, and you know, get to know them and everything, and you know, it's you're getting used to them. And now, Rab, I've been watching Rab with his band so. And I have to say, Rab did get kind of colorful with the brand saw when he talked to it about it the other day, didn't he? But Lisa, guys, I want to know one thing. Would uh, would y'all uh, would y'all want to uh, have to talk to be the lady on the phone? He called to talk to about that band saw part when it was bent. I just want to know. <laughs> I said, man, I wouldn't want to be that lady on the other end of that phone call. <laughs> Yeah, that's going to be a tough one. You know, when we pay good money for something, guys, we expect it to be right. We do. And, uh, yeah, there's Lisa on the blue. I gave her that wrench. I knew I could figure it out eventually, guys. It just took me a minute. Uh, I'm uh, I'm learning about this stuff. It takes a little while uh, to get all that figured out. And uh, my screen lost a bunch of stuff here and see where it went to. I can't get if I can't go to my history. If I go to my history, we'll never get to where we want to go because I got twenty five things in there that I've been watching for the last few days. You know, so I've been I've been seeming to watch. Uh, I don't know. It's just the, the the redneck in me or the country boy in me or whatever. But I'm enjoying watching Ukrainians blow up Russians. I go and watch that sometimes. Just let it play while I'm doing what I do, and uh, I'll hear them go boom, and I say, "Yep, there it goes." gonna take them down now ain't we so yeah but yeah that's kind of what we're working on you know is doing that kind of thing so yeah we are everybody's gonna have fun and you know then people got a poor situation over there and if we can do anything to help them we should but ain't a lot we can do except just keep sending bullets and stuff like that so that's all we're gonna do guys so, yeah yeah I weren't retail so long. I learned how to ignore it. I don't know. It'd been hard to ignore when he got on the phone. I'm gonna promise you that. <laughs> that seemed like it'd been a little interesting. So uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, barely been crawling up somebody's butt about. Yeah, I mean, I would call it if they didn't take it serious. Then I'd get upset. But I'd give them a chance to take me serious first before I got upset. They like see my trash didn't get picked up Monday. So I called Tuesday morning and they said, we'll get it. And they didn't get it yesterday or today. And I called back this morning. I said, you know, y'all still had not picked up my trash. And I hadn't got upset yet, but it's still out there. And I said, I'm going to have more soon. And you're going to have to get it all off the top of the can with the can. So, yeah, guys, you know, you know, you have to deal with whatever comes. And sometimes customer service is pretty terrible, but, you know, they'll get it figured out maybe. It may be gone by the time I leave to go in the house in a little while. I don't know. Uh, Bill's talking about Putin's oligarchs and snipe hunting. Yeah, he's, well, you know, I keep hearing people, that his buddies ending up dead, dude. I mean, you know, like the oil guy there, and the gas guy here, and this family, this guy, and all the family gone. And Man, they're playing dirty now for sure. But, yeah, we don't get on politics for much, too, guys. I just, like I say, this is something I've been watching a lot of. It's just my thing, you know, here lately. Is I've been watching a lot of that. So uh, I kind of enjoy getting watching them get their comeuppance, as I guess they call that. You know what I mean? So, uh, you know, when you pick a fight with somebody, you kind of expect to get your nose bloodied if you pick a fight with a big guy. You know, and that's what happened, I think. So, Well, that's good. I mean, you, when something gets missing on the shipping, yeah. 
Dang, they wanted me to hide that bill, but Spike brought it up. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I won't talk about it ever again. Okay, now look. Okay, let's go do what we're supposed to do today. Welcome to the Brotherhood of the Build, and we're going to do what we come here for. We're going to show and grow. So if you're not a member, you know, if you don't watch my buddy Lucifer, then you need to be watching him. And I want to share what we got Lucifer's going to be doing here with us. So uh, we're going to kick him into the stream and let y'all just watch what he's got going. Let me make it big first so we can fill up the screen and make it easier to see. And uh, I'm going to hit the button and we're going to go. So y'all ready? Let's watch Lucifer do a little bit of crazy work. Uh, I skipped past the intro. I figured y'all didn't need that again. Y'all seen it. So we'll just start from here. Let's go. How about that? And then I'm going to cut myself off. I don't know about y'all, but I love to watch Brett when he cranks that thing up, runs at like 125 speed or whatever he's running at. He's just zipping right along. Lisa, take that blade out. If it won't shave hair off your arm, you need to work on it. That's kind of the way it works. And like Luther said, practice on basswood. Nice and soft, easy grain. It'd be a lot easier for you. Don't start with a hardwood. build off 2022 it's episode three because i'm not counting the inlay episodes as actual episodes in this build series it's a little loophole i found not to have 47 episodes well yes this is a uh strange spot to have an intro in a video but anyway we now have a roughed out neck 
truss rod in and stuff. And we have our fretboard. So before I go further with this, I gotta make a headstock veneer, which is gonna require me to joint the top and cut out a section of the top to use as the veneer. Just kind of force my hand to decide on the shape I want. <laughs> Realistically, five videos in, we don't even know what shape we're doing yet. I think I do though. All right, let's joint this top and uh, get her glued up. up on this stuff apparently it's uh, a pretty oily wood um so before i glue this joint i'm just going to clean it up I'm supposed to use acetone but i don't have any so i'm going to use nail polish remover thanks mom Hey, Brett, brother, why did you not make one piece go all the way around? I was wondering about that when I watched this the first time. All righty. We are here. So kind of had a wrench thrown in my gears for my plan of this guitar. I wanted to bind the entire thing with Purple Heart. Got good news and bad news. The good news is I could bend the Purple Heart pretty easy and I'd actually be able to bind this guitar pretty easily with Purple Heart using my method. Bad news, looks like shit. The uh, process that I used to get it to bend discolors the Purple Heart and it doesn't even look like Purple Heart anymore. And uh, you can't sand through it back to purple. It's like a really dark brown on the inside. So I'm going to have to devise a plan slash I already have. So for the body, I'm going to use a purple heart subtop chamfer the edges. 
It'll look like it's got binding, kind of. Or it'll have a purple heart ring on the outside. That's cool. And for this, I also have a plan. But it's looking like we're all out of time for this one. So that's going to have to wait till next episode. Well, see you later. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. Hit the wrong button and has just scattered all over screens everywhere. Uh, yeah, we do that sometimes when we don't know what we're doing. That's one of them times with me. So, uh, yeah, I done a little something on my channel uh, the other day. I don't know. Some people seen it, some didn't. I don't know how many did. And I uh, hope you can hear me now. And uh, Brett, I understand about your uh, why you had to do that with that sharp angle. So, yeah, I got you figured out. I understand that. Uh, that works. Let me uh, throw this one up. I'll show y'all my little thing I done the other day. Geo suggested I do a a better uh, a better channel intro for my channel because he said you just don't yeah you know, when you come in you just don't realize what you're doing. So I said, well, let me throw something together. So this is a little 22 seconds, and I done, and I'm gonna redo it and make it better. But this is just something to get me more on path because when that thing was going boom 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 boom, boom frugal fixer that this wasn't working. So. Yeah, we we doing something better. So yeah, yeah, I know Jade. We got it going now, brother. I got it. I got the sound fixed. I hope so. I do hope I got it fixed now. Oh come on! It's just being crazy in here today, man. I'm sorry. Y'all ready? Let's go check it out. It's short, and uh, I gotta cut some out, leave some. We'll see. Simple as that. I put that in the beginning of my videos now. It's 22 seconds, and sometimes I even trim some of that out. So. Jade, good to see you, Laurel. I'm glad to have you, brother. Appreciate you being here. Uh, hope things are well up your way. I got to get up to visit you one day. If you don't mind, I'm just going to come up and ride up the road. I go to Charlotte a lot. Go hang out and play guitar on the street, and uh, I don't guess you that far from there, are you? Charlotte's uh, how about an hour for me at the most, a little under an hour, unless traffic's bad going into Charlotte. So yeah, we uh we just been having fun, guys. And uh, let me get this thing turned off in my ear up here again. I got it going. It went straight from that video and another one just kept playing in my ear. So yeah, but Jody, I got your colors order, brother. So I got you hooked up on that, and they're on the way. I had to order me some more for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, well, I might know why. But yeah. Thank you. Um, Geo helped me out with a logo, and he also helped me out with doing that. And the brother of the build logo, he hooked me up and done that one for me too. Because I'm, I don't know, I'm just not that picture taking creative guys. I'd like to be on up, you know. So, for well, sure, hey, I'll bring something to play. I'll find one that'll play. I know I got one. So, this bass is coming along. I will have it going one of these days. Uh, I hope to have it strung up and play in within a week. So. Didn't catch the blue screen, probably looked up. Oh, it just says, uh, build something. Let's just build something. I think what it says. So, yeah. And it's. Oh, me. I'm back. Anyway, I brought in the bass. Now, somebody was talking about the weight of the guitars earlier, I think. And uh, 
I weighed it today and just a little bit ago, and it still has to have a hole cut here for the, you know, for the controls. And right there, I got to get that cut in and then get a plate made for it. And then otherwise, it's starting to come along. And the reveals on the edges, I still got to work those and get them like I want. And then it'll be time to go up the back of this neck and shape the neck. I just done a little bit right here, started a little spot to work. And I said, nah, I'm going to wait till I get it all figured out. But I'm going to shape it here and then shape it up there and then connect it all. And then I got some rounding to do here and shape it here. Um, but five pounds, eight and one half ounces is what it weighs, just like it is right now, just in wood with no no tuner holes cut, no tuners, uh, none of that. So, yeah, it's coming along. I think that's what I'm going to do, Bill, is I'm going to fade it from the neck to the body and then back down. So, well, so basically I'm going to put light right here and get dark going this way, but have the light section like all in right here and then have it dark going out this way and then fade it down to the bottom this way, but I'm not going to get it real dark. I'm going to keep it getting crazy dark. So good to see you, Dan. Hope, hope, glad to see you, man. Appreciate you coming by. But yeah, that's what's going on with that. I got a little work to do. Uh, Y'all might have noticed it got a little thin right here. There was a crack right there, and I got to reshape the end of that and fix that where I chipped it off because it just, I was not going to leave it and let it come off later. I was going to take it off on my terms. So that's what I did. So, yeah, it's a, it's a process. Y'all know how that works. Get that back out of the way over there. So, anyway, and then uh, as far as the color on there, uh, I think I pretty much decided. Uh, to end up right in here and get up to about this far on the dark end on this way and about this far to dark end on the other end and keep it within that range and then maybe just a little lighter in the sun and then once it polishes out and stuff i think it'll jump so that's the general idea of what we looked at on that so my body weighs more than that whole thing still if I had to guess, uh, possibly. I mean, right now it's five pound, eight and a half ounces, and I got to still cut the back out of it and shape the back of the neck. So I'm figuring it's going to get down to five pounds when I do that for the whole thing. And then when I start adding back to it, um, I'm going to add, well, that's a pretty good bit of weight in the, in the tub, in the gold pan. I got the back guard. Two pickups. These big old tuners are like heavy, man. The bridge. Uh, little knobs aren't too heavy. Pots are pots are fairly light. You know, you wouldn't believe what a set of strings weighs. Strings are heavy. You know, when you get looking at them in this term. So we come along. We get in there, guys. And uh, I'm happy to. I'm happy to be getting where I'm at with it. And Lisa, the base, I really wanted it light. I wanted it so light that you could just, you know, it's 34 inch scale, it's a long scale. And, uh, but I wanted it lightweight so it's just easy to play and handle, you know. So, uh, you know, for me, that makes it a little better, you know, to have the, the lightweight. And I'm going to learn to play because I've, I've played a base in my life maybe three hours, three hours of my whole life, I mean, probably. And, I'm definitely not very good at it. I mean, I hadn't learned. I mean, so, and this is a five string. That just throws a whole nother kink in that game. But I, the one I play, played with before was a four. So, uh, yeah, I got to figure out where that other string goes up there and do what to do with it. I think it's B. I'm just trying to figure all that out. I find a way to learn a little everything. I got a mandolin up there, and there's a banjo in the house, a bugle, a trumpet, a handful of guitars. So. Syracuse, New York. There you go, Lisa. I appreciate knowing that. I like to know. Um, ball, ball binding by writing a channel on Super Blue and one millimeter gold rope channel. There you go. Could do that, I guess. I don't know why you wouldn't, but yeah, could. Let me see. Let me see. What the. Uh, if he's going to put something gold. Okay, sorry about that. Y'all didn't need that shot. You're going to put something gold in one. You could put 
a real piece of gold like that one. Let me see. Let me put it here where y'all can see it maybe better. There you go. It's on my orange hand, but it's still. Now that's a piece of raw gold come out of the where I picked put where I got it out of Nome, Alaska. So it gives you a little look at what it looks like. I carried it around my little bottle. I found that one and I found this nail, little hard square nail. Found that in the same hole with that, digging them out with a shovel. And there's a little bit of fine gold in that bottle. There's a bunch more put up in the house and some up in the safe up there. But anyway, so what else has got got going on here, guys? Who else is who else has got something to the trouble they're making? I'm too full for no, I don't know about that. That piece is pretty nice though. It was that piece is probably two hundred dollar chunk of gold. I mean, so yeah. I ain't gonna be putting it in a fretboard anytime soon, okay? Just let you know. <laughs> oh Bill, like oh really? That's cool. I I spent uh fourteen summers in Nome, Alaska. And I've got a claim up there right now that if I want to go this summer, I can go. But I just don't think I'm going to make it. I'm dealing with some issues and stuff. I just kind of hanging out at home. I don't think I'm going to Nome this year. So, but, yeah, I got a claim, claim on the Solomon River about 60 miles from Nome on an ATV through the wilderness. So, And I just ain't up to it this year dealing with all that. Just ain't ready for it. You know, you do what you want to do. And in this life right now, I do what I enjoy doing. You know, so I think that's the main thing. I do what I enjoy doing. So. Oh, let's see. Where'd that go? I lost the other camera somewhere. I guess it might have died on me. I had another camera set up over there and it died. Oh, so. Yeah, Lisa, I'm enjoying watching everybody's stuff. Right now, there's. Everybody's wide open. You know, everybody's building, building, building. I mean, Bonehead, I love Bonehead, and he's got like three going or four going at one time like I do. And, uh, you know, all of us are just stretching things out this year and having fun. Them doing the – them doing the uh, – oh, what's the word? Uh, the community group allows people to, to really stretch out and do more, you know. Oh, wow, you, she worked at the radio station. Okay. I dated a girl from the radio station when I was divorced in 2001. So that'll tell you that was 20, 19 years ago. So, yeah, her name was Angie. So, yeah. Blonde, strawberry blonde. Really cute girl. We had fun. She worked at the radio station as a intern and done a interview on... National Public Radio with me. And they interviewed me for, I don't know, it must have been a 30-minute interview, and they played the whole thing on National Public Radio nationwide. And I got a copy of it somewhere on a cassette that she gave me and sent it to me. So, so Nome, we're the, lived in Nome. Well, see, the first time I went to Nome was 1999, the first time I ever went to Nome. And then I went for 14 summers. And I skipped one and two in there in the middle of there. And I ended up last summer I went was 2012. Yeah, 2012 was my last summer up. And then I had neck surgery. So then I've been up since then a couple of years, but it wasn't there. It was out our claim. So, yeah, y'all know I do the gold prospecting thing. I mean, I, grow, I make gold prospecting equipment in the shop. And I thermoform sluices and stuff like that. So. Oh, so Spike is famous. <laughs> I don't know about all that, but I've lived with a lot of critters over my time up there. I mean, from muskox to grizzly bears. Had a polar bear one year. Uh, beavers. See, foxes. Yeah, a lot of critters up there. Reindeer. I, I ended up, a whole herd of reindeer walked through my camp one time. About 150 of them. And you know why you can call them reindeer and not caribou? Because one of them had a radio collar on it, so you know where they're at, so you know they belong to somebody. Yeah, I did the, I did the polar bear in, in every year. I went in the ocean every year, but I usually went in with a wetsuit dredging. Yeah. 
famous for the radio time. Yeah, that been about it, brother. Yeah, that was it was fun. I done uh, I had a lot of fun doing that that up there, you know. And then the camp closed down that I worked at uh, in 2013, last year. I didn't get to go in 13, and it closed down. Never got to go back. So uh, it was it was a lot of fun. I had a lot of great friends up there, and I met a lot of great people in town. Uh, Richard Benefield, he passed away, Powell back uh, last winter. Was one of my real good friends up there. Me and him used to do music together. Um, I played in town a few times. It's it's town in town. It's at, at the at the bars as they would call them. Uh, just you do things, you know. Uh, and I get uh, just a way to get out. So, guys, uh, tell me this on on music for your channels and stuff. If y'all do y'all find your music somewhere and just use it, or do you just you know make your own, or kind of what are you doing with your music on your channel? Because um, I've got some new ideas on mine, and some of my stuff you might have heard in that uh, that little intro I played, that little guitar slide and stuff in that. That's one of my good friends, and um, I've got him lined up to come in and the studio, and I'm going to have him record me some chill music for sanding and some fast music for bandsaw and at fast speed and some music for this and some music for that, because he's real talented. I can just pretty much tell him the mood I want, and he plays. And I'm just going to hook him up, let him play, and I'm just going to record all these different tracks just for, you know, what I want to do and to use personally for my music on my channel, and I'll never use anybody else's outside music. It'll all be my music. You know, never get a copyright strike, never get a complaint. Don't have to go look for it because I just said all in my files, I just label it the mood I want to travel with it. So that was my thinking on my music. So Darren's going to be coming over to do that. So y'all listen to future. Some of that is coming. Um, he, t- he lays down some cool teams. So if you go back and listen to my video from last year to contest, he played about half the music in my, in my video. And then another buddy played about a third. And then another buddy played about a third. Of, well, no, I don't know, not that much. But it all broke down. I played the last 15 seconds. Just so you'll know, that was me. So, yeah, those work. Uh, they're uh, they're pretty good, and they're not bad. But Bill, I I like them. Uh, I just wanted something original, you know, different. And so I told him, I said, "Come over, sit down, and just play." You know, and I'll just tell you what mood I want to carry, and you play that mood. And he said, "What key?" I said, "I don't care what key it's in. That's the last thing I care about. It's be all the same key for all I care. Kind of might work out all in G or something. I don't know. Whatever you want to play, you play it." Do what you like. So that's what I was doing. I mean, I just want to get some identity to that part of the channel and, you know, get the music that, that works, you know, and it's kind of without having, well, sometimes we make bad music choices and I can go back and look at some videos where I made some bad music choices if I look at them today. NSJ, Jay Scotsman, how you doing, brother? Glad to be here, man. Use random stuff you recorded in the past. Yeah, that's a good thing to do if you got stuff you've done. I mean, I got stuff I've done, but it's not, uh, yeah, not really. I don't want to use mine. I mean, I play, I play funky stuff anyway. Most people don't want to hear. I mean, guys, I'm a Southern rock junkie. So, I mean, you're going to get to hear some Skinner or some Marshall Tucker or something along that line or Charlie Daniels, or I may even branch into country a little bit and play some of my buddy's stuff, Travis Tread or some of them. I mean, because I'm into that, but, you know, nah, I'm pleased. I'm not a hard rock guy. I don't play that stuff, you know. So I just enjoy it, you know. So um, everybody's got to do what makes them happy. Mix for mix me a playing or I'm someone that makes music. music. That's a good way to do it. I mean, if you if you put out a tune that you like and you know use it, then do it. Like I say, he's just so much better than me. I'm gonna use it, you know. I mean, so uh, you know, I don't know what else, what a what I mean, y'all know it or not. I used to do guitar tech for a southern rock band so in my past life i was a guitar tech for the marshall tucker band. so i done that for about eight months and my ex-wife decided that was long enough yeah exactly she decided that was long enough but uh it was a lot of fun i seen some unbelievable things in them eight months in this country and most of it out one side of a truck because they had me in a truck you only see out one side of it so I'd ride along and see this side of the country and never seen that side of the highway. So I don't know what's on the left. Everything's to the right for me. So 
Yeah, but it was a lot of fun. I mean, I went from Red Rocks. Well, I started out, I flew from here home from Greenville Spartanburg Airport into the South Dakota, and we done a week and I had almost 10 days at Sturgis, playing different places around Sturgis there. And so it was moving, 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 no big moves, just move stuff and then go back, you know, deal that. So, and then from there, we went west and ended up at Red Rocks and um, just all over the country. I mean, then back to New, New York, Washington, and they're huge up in the northeastern states. So, uh, New, uh, up in New England area and uh, New Jersey, New York, all those areas, they do huge big shows up there. So, uh, you know, it's been fun. It was fun. But like I say, the ex-wife decided that eight months was enough because I was having fun, but she didn't enjoy me being gone. And then later she said, well, just be gone. So I was. That's the reason she's the ex or was the ex. She uh, didn't make it through, guys. Can't, have, can't do much about that. Uh, just, she had the bad C like I did, but hers was deep in here. Mine was just in the skin. So, yeah. I probably ought to not be messing with this yellow stuff on my hands. Probably ain't helping that situation. So I'll kind of watch that. Put the gloves on, guys. I know. I learned. Um, I even put safety glasses on when I was working that stuff. I didn't want to splash an eye because it's alcohol based. It'll get you. So, Dan, are you going to be over with me to go see Texas Toast in a few minutes? I know you will. I always see you there. His subject today was he's talking about people, your gripes about things in the guitar community. I think I got one or two I might carry over there. I've always thought that Leo Fender putting a guitar neck on with screws and calling it bolts was kind of silly. You know, I did. So, yeah. So, Dan, you must be on the same exact time zone as me because I'm the exact same thing here. Uh, I'm on Eastern time zone in the USA myself. So. Yeah. Now I have friends over overseas, you know, in their way and like Gio's in Italy, he's six hours ahead of me. So he's been in the bed now for probably an hour, you know, cause he, he's one of them people that, that lives right and gets 10 hours of sleep a day. And well, I sleep about four or five hours a day. And y'all can tell that I ain't right. So, uh, um, got any cool road stories? Uh, we can go into some of them, but some of them might not go well. I've, I've seen some strange stuff. Okay, let's put it that way. Um, the Red Rocks was really cool. I mean, I enjoyed that place, the, the beauty of it and all that. And then we played at the Indian Reservation. And at the Indian Reservation, they loved the music, man. They, they were wide open listening to Marshall Tucker music. And I think uh, 38 Special was playing with us at that time, if I remember right. But them Indians was doing the peyote, man. Them people was tripping. <laughs> I've seen a lot of crazy stuff. I've seen people sit on speakers, and I've seen girls come around and get on the speaker. And Well, she might have been a stripper for all I know. She must have been. Anyway, but, yeah, I've seen some strange stuff, you know, from people out, out in the crowd, you know. Uh, Hey, I got one for you. Have y'all ever seen those? Uh, what's they? Uh, it's a it's a punching bag, you know, in the in the bar. And you walk up, you punch that thing, and it reads how hard you punched. And these guys are all big old burly guys, you know. Was all up there, and they'd punch that bag, and they'd go, and they'd punch it, and they'd go, you know. And it wasn't none of them go really cruel, you know. But they'd go, you know. And I say, oh, that's pretty good. I say, but my truck driver better than that. And they'd go, what? I say. Let me call David. So I go back and get David out of the back, the truck driver. The truck driver go about 145 pounds, maybe. And these great big old birdie guys with the cowboy hats out there trying to pound that bag, you know. And he goes out there and they put it in and he goes, pow! It was so fast you didn't even see it happen. And that thing went, ding! And it lit up the whole thing. And I went, holy moly. And I said, remind me never to get in front of that boy when he's mad because he knocked that thing stupid. And them boys were just amazed how hard he hit it. And I go, yep, don't mess with the Marshall Tucker Band truck driver. But then they had them bars during this time when I was with them. That's when they had the bulls in, the, in some of the bars we were playing at. And they had one that you would ride down this little track, and you had to throw the rope and try to lasso this little bullhead on the side. And we used to watch people do that and laugh so hard because they'd be so intent on watching where there's roping and trying to throw it. They weren't watching when that thing come to that abrupt stop at the end of the track. And they put big old cushions over there on that end. And it's a good thing they did because I've seen some big old dudes 
knocked themselves stupid on that too. So yeah, it was fun. I mean, you know, the things you see out on the road like that, but my days were spent. I mean, my lead player, lead guitar player had four guitars. Rhythm guy had four guitars. The bass player had three. The drummer had a huge stack of drums and the keyboard player had this and the sax player would never let me touch his stuff. So, you know, that was the way it worked. But the drum, the drum guy wanted me to wear these little white gloves when I was touching all his drums and his cymbals because he said he'd leave fingerprints on his cymbals. I mean, I'm working on nice high-end guitars without gloves on, just wipe them down when I get done. But he didn't want that. He wanted, he wanted you to wear your little gloves when you dealt with his cymbals. And I, uh, it got to the point where I let him deal with his own dang cymbals, okay? Yeah, it was better that way. You didn't have to fuss about it. He's a he's local here in town now. He doesn't play in the band anyway. He plays sometimes, but he's not in a band anymore. But uh, yeah, with that many woodshed, yeah, they kept me busy. I mean, you got 11, 11 guitars a day to keep, and then the lead guy he plays one song a night on one of them guitars, and it comes back and I wipe it, clean it, and get it all ready, and then put it back up, and it don't get touched. Ready. It ain't want that you need to get touched again until he plays it tomorrow night for that one song. But no, he wants a new set of strings on it every day for one song. Lisa, that would be a real big understatement right there uh, about them being, yeah. Strange folks is not is an understatement. Molly Hatchet and Skinner, I've, I've worked with both of those. Uh, I've been to Key Largo in Long Island, New York with them. I was a... Uh, I done a show up, big show up there one time with them. Uh, about 1,500 people in that bar. It was a New Year's show. We flew in to do it and then flew out. So uh, that was a pain because, well, at least the truck was there with all the stuff. I didn't have to, it was there and they just had to unload it and unload it out. But we always had uh, volunteers to help load and unload stuff, you know, into the building. Had to watch them boys quick because it wasn't, it wasn't, yeah, you'd have to watch them. That's for sure. You did, especially on load out, you know, so, yeah. Guys, it was a fun life. I mean, I enjoyed it, but I wouldn't do it now. No, no. I, I had my feel of that back then. It was fun. It was a lot of fun. But Yeah. Yeah, only place, only place Brett feels comfortable is at a normal metal show. Okay, well, I can see that. And Bill's kind of like metal music, too. I think he's in the hard rocker music like that, too. I mean, he's making one of them guitars with a big that shape, you know, so you know he's kind of out there. Oh, I've, I've listened to Jethro Tull, brother. Thick as a brick. That's some of my favorite stuff in the world, Dan. Um, I love the flute. I love that flute they put in that music. It just jams out. I mean, the beat's really boom, boom. It's got such good beat. They played, uh, when I was a senior in high school, if I remember right now, this was a long, long time ago, they played at a local car bar over here in Spartanburg called Midnight Sun. And I was like I, said, I must have been 18, 19 years old at the time. That was 1977, six. I don't know. It was a long dang time ago, guys. Yeah. Oh, you, you and the band Murray. <laughs> oh, man. Well, yeah, okay. I can see that. She's got a really sweet voice. You know, uh, what's the girl's name? Uh, Linda Ronstadt. I'm going to tell you what, I grew up listening to Linda Ronstadt and uh, Karen Carpenter and Janice and all of them. I mean, I'm, I'm a child of the 60s, you know that. So, yeah, Toll was Toll was the show. Aqualong was a great album, no doubt. I enjoyed it, Bill. It was good. But, guys, I guess we better get on moving around and start getting checked out of here because it'd be time to go over and watch Texas Toast and see what they're talking about. I just enjoy watching the guys. uh I'll be drinking Jim Beam. I won't be drinking a beer with him. I don't drink beer. But every now and then I drink a little Jim Beam. But I don't do much of that. Kind of quit that a long time ago. But I just sit and relax and enjoy life. And uh, y'all do the same. So, guys, let's get on out of here so y'all can do what you got to do and take care of yourselves. And what you have to take care of yourself, brother. What's your name, man? If you don't mind, drop it in there. I'd love to know. I'm trying to keep up with who I'm dealing with. I got Brett, Dan, and everybody. I know who some, most of them are. Bill, everybody. But, yeah, I like to keep up with all that. But, yeah, guys, y'all take care of yourselves. Remember this now. I always tell you this, don't you? You can't take it with you. God loves you, and so do I. And John, yeah, I love you too, brother. Thank you for coming. And uh, you can't take it with you. So do something for somebody. Help somebody this week. Uh, 
if there's somebody you can do a little something for to help them out, then do it if it's not going to hurt you. And that's the reason that I do this is I want to help other people. Like, If I could get more people to book their title of their video in that list, I'd play their video during this show. That's all you got to do is put the title in there. He didn't put his. Lucifer didn't put his. But I put it on there anyway. Why? Because I needed something to fill the cup of space. And I can have a live guest anytime up to six. And I'll welcome them anytime. We'll do it. Just come on in. We'll chat, talk, and show me your shop. Uh, we done a cool, cool tour of Brett's shop. We enjoyed the heck out of that. We need to do another one soon. So everybody be good. Stay out of trouble. Take care of yourselves. John A., appreciate it, man. I have to get up and see you sometime, or you can get down to Spartanburg and see me, and uh, we'll hang out. And uh, if you want to come down, work in the shop, use some of my tools, be more than use anything you need. So, uh, guys, be good. Stay out of trouble. Take care of yourselves. And, yeah, what else can you do? But enjoy life. You know, do it. Just enjoy life. And build something good and stay busy. Uh, that's what keeps me moving. I just stay busy. If, uh, if I ever stop, I go to sleep. Be good, guys. Later. See you next time.